today we are on the secluded island paradise of Don Pedro Island. Now we actually lived less than 50 miles from this island for over seven years, but we never actually heard of it until a few weeks ago when we were looking at a map of the area. But after doing some research, we knew that this little known island was a place we'd have to see for ourselves. But we gotta be honest, a lot of things went wrong today. And some of it was just due to bad luck, but a lot of it was due to poor decision making. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't make those same mistakes when planning your beach day. Welcome back to Explorecation. We're Jamie and Skyler, and on this channel, we take you to the best of Florida's Gulf beaches and beyond. And while most of our beach days go very well, some just don't go as planned. But even a bad day on a beautiful island still ain't all bad, and we'll show you what we mean right now. Our day on Don Pedro began at the Palm Island Transit Ferry. So the main reason Don Pedro Island has that secluded feel is because it can only be accessed by boat. And that's why we're here on the Palm Transit Ferry. This is gonna be the shortest ferry ride ever. We're only going over there. Now we just got off the Palm Transit Ferry, which was only about a five minute ferry ride and cost $10 a person. Thankfully, they let us bring our scooters onto the island as well, so we'll be able to show you much more of it. Now, we haven't had our breakfast or our coffee yet, and there's only one spot on the island to get it, so we'll see you there next. Our breakfast plans took us about a mile and a half to the northwest, where you'll reach the entrance to the Palm Island Resort. And after checking in, you'll have another quarter mile ride to the restaurant. After a beautiful and relaxing island ride, we arrived at our breakfast destination, Coconuts, where once inside, we found exactly what we were looking for. We can get our coffee here, we can get breakfast sandwiches, they also have smoothies, pancakes, donuts, and ice cream. Skylar also noticed that they have kombucha. It's a beautiful place to have breakfast. After enjoying our breakfast and coffee, it was time to check out some more of the resort. So we started our day here at the car ferry. We rode our scooters up here to Coconuts Cafe where we just finished our breakfast. And we did have a little change in plans. So here we found out that we could rent bicycles for the entire day for $15. And their bicycles have the wide tires, which means we'll be able to ride them up and down on the beaches. Whereas if we were using our scooters, we would be confined to the roads. And that also means we're gonna be able to show you even more of this island. And it also means our scooters will have almost fully charged batteries for tomorrow's adventures. But first we made our way upstairs, where we found the Rum Bay restaurant and the gift shop. And while the restaurant wasn't open yet, the gift shop was. I found a mermaid necklace and a bracelet. So here's the mermaid, here's a turquoise one. I think I like this one better. With my outfit now complete, we had just one more stop before beginning our ill-fated biking adventure. If you are interested in coming to the island just to eat at the restaurant, you can take a water taxi from the mainland for only $6. We got our bikes rented and it's time to go explore some more of this island. Our biking experience couldn't have started off much better, as we both enjoyed the relaxing, mile-long ride to the far north end of the island. Along the way, we marveled at the beautiful tropical landscape and the complete lack of traffic. And after under 10 minutes of biking, we had arrived at our first beach stop of the day. Made it. Yeah. Once out on the beach, we found these cool-looking sun-bleached trees and beautiful gulf views. The winds and water were pretty calm at this time, but little did we know that was about to change. Thanks to our trusty beach cruisers, we made it to the far north end of this island. Now, if you can see the body of water behind me, that's known as Stump Pass. And behind that is Stump Pass Beach State Park, which is on the far south end of Manasota Key. We actually plan on filming on Manasota Key tomorrow, which will be next week's video. So we hope to see you back for that one. So we do want to show you the sand on this beach. 
Now, right away, we could tell that it was really shelly. So we would recommend some good beach footwear if you do plan on walking on the beach in this area. Now, if you're looking for that sugary white sand, this probably isn't the best option for you. But if you're interested in shelling, then this might be a good spot. After a fantastic start to the day, it was time to make our way back southward, where we still had miles of the island to explore. We left the resort property, biked over a couple of bridges, and the road turned to gravel. So I think that means we're officially on Don Pedro Island. And that means we're only a mile or so away from the park. Skyler just told me to not crash. Like I don't know how to ride a bike. So I knew this island was going to be beautiful, but I didn't expect it to be this gorgeous and peaceful. It's so quiet. And I do think these bike rentals are totally worth it. Now, if you have a little bit more room in your budget, you can splurge and rent a golf cart. We have seen those all over here. So that'd be fun to ride around this island and explore. So in case you might be a bit confused, we're actually only gonna be on one island today. But this island often goes by three different names. The north part of the island where the resort is often goes by the name of Palm Island or Night Island. The middle section of the island goes by the name of Don Pedro Island. That's where the park is. And some people refer to the entire island as Don Pedro Island as well. Now the far south end of the island is often called Little Gasparilla Island. And we're hoping to take you there later today as well. All right guys, so we've got another change in plans. We thought we were gonna be able to take roads all the way to the park, but the road we were on turned into a private road. So we had to backtrack just a little bit to find the closest public beach access, which is where we're at right now. So we're gonna take our bikes to the beach and try to bike the beach all the way to the park. Wish us luck. Our beach biking adventure got off to a pretty decent start. The tides were not yet at their highest, leaving us with a few feet of hard packed sand to ride on. And after a quick stop to rest and take in the view of the empty beach, we were back pedaling towards the Don Pedro Island State Park. So we rode our bikes down the beach until the house has ended, and that means we made it to the state park. So let's go check it out. So we made it to the first trail in the park that runs parallel with the gulf. We we're really hoping that the trail would be gravel or dirt or even grass, but as you can see, it is deep sand. So riding these bikes down the trail is not really an option. So Jamie, what do you think of this park so far? I don't like it that much. <laughs> Thank goodness the trail turned from sand to gravel so we could ride our bikes. Because not only were we having to push them through the deep sand, I was also getting stickers on my feet. Oh, that one was really in there. I got one between my toes that time. Oh man. Well, let's get out of here. So I think we're getting close to the area where the restroom and the shelter is. And thank goodness because we are out of water. So we didn't make it to the rest area but we did find this shaded spot where we can have a snack and also put on more sunscreen. So we think we found the trail that leads to the rest area and hopefully there'll be some water there. There it is. All right. To our delight, the rest area did have a fountain with running water. And for a brief moment, all was once again well on Don Pedro Island. After some much needed time to relax and rehydrate, it was time to check out the beach along Don Pedro State Park. And even on a Saturday, we found a true secluded beach experience with nothing but a few birds to keep us company. If you're enjoying this episode and would like to help our channel grow, then be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. It is getting crazy windy out here. And as you can see, the waves are huge for Florida Gulf Coast standards. After checking out the beach here at the state park, I would say it is gorgeous. 
but I would also say that it's not for everyone. If you're looking for that natural beach, then this could be a really good spot. But it is shelly like the north end of the island and we also found there to be some stickers. So you'll want to protect those feet a little bit better than I did today. So we made it back to our bikes and we do have goals to make it all the way to the south end of the island still, but it's gotten way too windy out on the beach. We did notice though that these trails keep going south, so we're going to follow them for as long as they stay rocky and not sandy. So Skyler was really determined to show you guys what little Gasparilla Island looks like. Now me, I was done with the wind, so I am hanging back on the trail waiting for him. But thanks Skyler! Alright guys, so Jamie had enough of the sun and the wind, so the journey to little Gasparilla Island turned into a solo one. It could have gone better, my chain fell off my bike about halfway here, and the sand got really soft so it was really hard to ride through. So I ended up just walking the rest of the way. I made it to the very north end of Gasparilla. Now I would love to explore the rest of Little Gasparilla, but Jamie's about a mile back up the beach that way, so we'll have to wait for another day. Vacationers looking for the ultimate secluded Florida beach experience will likely find it on Little Gasparilla Island as the island contains no paved roads and the primary modes of transportation are by foot or golf cart. Well, there he is. How was it? <laughs> so we thought we were leaving the park, but then Skylar realized that he did not have his phone. Then he told me that his chain fell off while he was at Little Gasparilla. So my thought is his phone probably fell out of his pocket when he was fixing the chain. So he went back to Little Gasparilla to hopefully find his phone. Oh, and look, that must be a good sign. You find it? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm really tired of pushing these bikes through the sand. And once we made it to the beach, it sure didn't get any easier, as the wind had gotten even stronger and was now blowing directly into our faces. Have you ever tried biking on the beach? If so, let us know how it went in the comments. Oh, thank goodness. We're finally back, back to the resort. Yeah. 20 and 17 are back where they belong. Barely. Oh. 20 had some issues. 17 was pretty solid though. Yeah. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> So Skylar just got that beer like a minute ago. <laughs> it's already almost gone. <laughs> Tastes so good. Okay, Skylar, I have a question for you. What was your favorite part of today? Oh, probably when I found my phone in the sand. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful you found that. I was not sure that you were going to. <laughs> All right, let's switch it up. What was your least favorite moment of the day? <laughs> Definitely when you said that you lost your phone and we were going to have to go back like a half mile to try and find it. And also getting sandblasted for like a mile walking our bikes back. Yeah, not ideal. Pretty bad. Our meals at Rum Bay Restaurant could not have arrived sooner. Holy cow! Club, club. That thing's huge. Now this is one of our best decisions of the day. <laughs> Having both worked up a huge appetite from our day of misadventures, we were thrilled by the massive size of our orders. This is pretty big too. And we were both quite impressed with the quality of the food 
and reasonable prices for a restaurant that has no competition on the island. After a failed but valiant attempt to eat our entire dinner, it was time to catch our ferry back to the mainland. The ferry runs from 6.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, with extended hours through 11 p.m. and midnight on Friday and Saturday. If you'd like to see one of our many not-so-challenging Florida Beach days, then check out this top Florida Beaches playlist next. Thanks for watching.